BB Battle is back with their second single off of their new LP called The Other One that is coming out on March 24th, 2023. And they will be releasing five more singles up until then. The cool thing is that we have 10 tracks on here that represent parallel worlds. This whole Metalverse concept that's coming from Baby Metal is amazing. You know they're playing off of like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I feel like this is gonna be way more interesting because we have badass music to go with it. And then we cannot forget that they're going to be playing a two-day show at the Makahari Messe Hall in Tokyo. And that show is going to be called Baby Metal Returns. You know they're going to be selling that digitally online. When that comes out, I'm really excited for that because then we get to hear Monochrome Live and Divine Attack, which really makes me excited because I hear the potential of those two songs live. Just thinking about that, I know it's going to be great. Now, the lyrics to Monochrome are really cool. I really love the opening line that starts the song. And for me, it like met something else. It kind of... For me, I was like, I instantly thought about people that sit there and look towards the skies for about their dreams and aspirations in life. And I know it might not be technically about that because it is about the different worlds. Now the lyrics for me kind of hit me in the feels, especially with that opening paragraph when I was reading it after the fact. And even in my reaction, you can kind of see it also. But she opens it up with the sky decorated in a spectrum of dreams. I wanted to look at it forever. Even the bright star that was shining yesterday, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's fading away. I know like it's a translation into English, but even in English, like it just sounds so beautiful. For me, it could mean a million different things. Fading away because the reality of life coming through, it could mean that. There's just so many ways you can interpret this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments though. So I was about to post this video, then I realized my theory was a little whack. Just, just a little bit. There were some great comments on YouTube underneath the Baby Metal reaction that I had to share with you all in case you guys didn't know. I know I was pretty ignorant to the stories of Baby Metal in their past albums. And now after this song coming out and reading some of these comments, it makes me want to really look into those older stories now and get a little bit more involved with the lore. Dig deeper down that foxhole. Dean Grant says, I'm not surprised the lyrics are dark. I believe it's about the atomic bomb in Hiroshima. When the bomb dropped, there was devastation and a black rain that fell for some time. The endless rain, as they called it. And there was a single tree that survived and stood among devastation. And Hibaku Jumoku, I probably mispronounced that one. but <laughs> So you have the rain and the umbrellas and Sue walking around in the rain because Ponytail, the girl in the video, has to be Sue. Sue is a native of Hiroshima. Now, I thought that was a very interesting theory and I can see how you would come to that conclusion from the music video and the lyrics. There was a response to what Dean said by Hypnotic. He said, this is a concept album and each song represents a dimension they visited. And there was an amazing comment that was left by Jake that I'm going to summarize just a little bit, but you should check out his full comment because he left us a really good interpretation of what he thinks the lyrics mean and lets us know about all the little things that you can find in the music video that are referenced to it. And this just shows you how complicated this song actually is on a visual standpoint also, not only just within the music itself, but then you have the artwork and the music video that they put a lot of time and effort into. Jake says, they are making sure that this song belongs to another world out of the 10 in the total for their metaverse. This time, the theme runs around the Norse mythology and the Ragnarok event. So I'm unfamiliar with the Thor's mythology and now I'm gonna look into it because it sounds fascinating just from hearing about this within this baby metal song. We can also see an artwork which apparently show Yuga's Drazil, the Norse tree of life, there's a lot more interesting things related to this tree, but in general is representing the life and rebirth of humankind after a moment of death and chaos. Baby Metal fans know that this is a recurrent theme on Baby Metal lore and is always exciting. And this is me just realizing that it says Ragnarok in the freaking lyrics. Another hidden similarity referenced with this tree could be the Ogori tree, which is known in Hiroshima for 
being a symbol of peace after surviving that sad event. That paragraph alone is what made me realize I need to go pay more attention. And if you didn't know already, they do have the pre-order available now, which has some encryption and some codes in this black box that they're selling that are for these 10 songs. The whole idea is genius. It's just great marketing altogether. Dr. Stream says, it's gonna be a wicked fun album. I can tell already. Doer Heart on Twitter says, oh wow, that's very different than I expected. Very cool. Gustavo says, Divine Attack was okay, but this, this is at least top five material. I gotta agree with you, Gustavo. This is what we were kind of waiting for. And I think it gets better from here, honestly. Johnny says, this will be an amazing album. Sue just gets better and better. Moa's input getting clear too. Awesome. And that is a really good point. You do hear Moa's vocals here and there. I still can't really tell if it is Moa or Sue doing backups, but I can kind of tell because I've heard her voice in an older cover or song. I can't remember. Oh, it was a... Uh, and it's, she has a deeper voice. I can't remember which concert I saw it in. But anyways, that's besides the point. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out the reaction to Monochrome or Divine Attack, the links are right here. See you!